Hi, I'm Mike from Scottadelic, and how can you do Wealth of Cookies? Find out. Hi, I'm Mike from Scottadelic, and this year, why not spice up your scouting and do something different, this time with a cookie. Go on, go on, simply click the subscribe, and I'll give you this cookie for free. Here we are. Don't know when you'll get it, but you can have it. There we are. Well, unless I've eaten it first. Today I'm going to give you a really cool activity that you could do. It involves cookies and it also involves uh, population and it talks about inequality around the world. It's a really cool and simple thing to do. And it's how to represent the population of the world and cookies represent the global wealth of the world. What you want to do is you want to separate your section into uh, certain different countries. Now there's obviously seven continents of the world, but only six of them actually are lived on. So you've got Asia, you've got North America, South America, Europe, Africa and Australia. So those are the six that are the main focus of this activity. So what you could do is you could have little um, like sort of tables with little plaques of all the different uh, continents that there are. And then you're going to uh, divide your section into how many people, so the population, of those countries. So Asia has 60% of the world's population. So if you had, say for example, 30 um, in your section, that would relate to 18 people. How you do that, so how you'd work it out, if you're like me and be like, well, I don't have exactly 30, I have X, Y, Z then what you do is you take the amount that you have for the evening, so say for example 20, and then Asia is 60% of the population of the world, so you'd go 20 times by 60%, which is 0.6, would give you the amount that goes behind the Asia table. North America has 7.9% of the world, so that works out to be two people. South America has 5.7%, so that's again two people. Africa has 15.5% of the world, which is five. Europe has 10.4%, which is three. And Australia has 0.5%, which is zero. So nobody's behind Australia, and so on and so forth, unless you've obviously got more than 30. This is all I'm factoring, 30 people. But again, like I say, all you need to do is your number times by and then the percentage that I've given you. So Asia is 60%, North America is 7.9%, uh, South America is 5.7%, Africa is 15.5%, Europe is 10.4% and Australia is 0.5%. Once you've divided up, then you're going to show the wealth. So the wealth comes in the form of cookies. There are other brands. These are the best. <laughs> what you then want to do is the same with the cookies. So you have 30 cookies and you're going to divide that wealth up between the countries. Asia, for example, although they have 60% of the population, they only have 26% of the wealth. So again, 30 times by the percentage gives you how many cookies. So they will only get 7.5 cookies, so seven and a half cookies. North America has 28% of the cookies, or the wealth of the world, so they get 8.5 cookies, say and a half cookies. Again, this is based on 30 people. South, uh, South America has 5.8% of the wealth, so that's two cookies. Africa has 3.6% of the world's wealth, so they get one cookie. Europe gets 34%, which turns out to be 10 cookies. And uh, Australia, who doesn't have anyone, gets 2.5%, which is one cookie, all right? So now that you've distributed that out, there we are. You can, uh, you can see if any of the cubs, the scouts, um, or whichever section you're doing it with, actually says, this isn't fair, because it isn't. Okay, it opens up that discussion because Asia has 18, but they only have 7.5 cookies. North America, there's two people that are sat behind North America, but they have 8.5 cookies. So they have four cookies each, whereas Asia, they don't even get a full cookie per person. All right. When I did it with the cups, we did it a, a different way, but uh, the cup that I didn't expect to say it said, okay, that this isn't fair. I 
and it opened up the discussion of inequality and also why do people want to come to different locations? So why do people in Africa, for example, want to immigrate to, obviously, uh, Great Britain or North America? It's because there's more value, there's more experiences, and you can also uh, talk about wars. That's why people obviously immigrate. Inequality. Why should some countries have higher population but low wealth? other countries that have lower population have greater wealth and it's a great start to a conversation about inequality and how where you are in the world can affect what you can do in life all right it's a really fun activity it gets that conversation started and hey if you fly by Australia make one of the cookies <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video then don't forget to give it a like, share it around, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again soon for another one of these. Maybe not with cookies though. Bye!